Hey guys, welcome back to the Cult Classic Kids Show, and today we are talking about some absolute stupidity. Yes, just regular average internet, specifically Twitter nonsense. This is more than likely going to turn into a rant because I cannot take this buffoonery that is making its rounds around the internet. And most people, most people who have common sense, who actually have half of a brain, will determine that this is total utter nonsense. Because some crybaby ass losers on the internet that are this little tiny niche of people think that Michael Myers is a bigot. Who cares if he's been a mass murdering homicidal maniac that has killed children, elderly people, all types of people of every single kind? Who cares if until recently he was trying to murder his sister after killing his other sister. Who cares if he was also trying to kill his niece, who was like, what, nine years old at the time? And I just want to let you guys know ahead of time that this is a spoiler discussion. The spoiler that is being spoken of is rather small. It's basically two kills in the film, but I just want to warn it's a spoiler. So if you haven't seen it and you don't want it spoiled for you, do not listen to this video. Go do your thing then come back later. But anyways, continuing on, there are some weirdos that think that Michael Myers is a homophobe because he kills two gay individuals whom I'm assuming are married to each other or are partners. And I'm going to call them weirdos because that's exactly what they are. I don't know who these people are. I know that there are some news sites that picked up on this story. I have no idea why this is even a discussion, but I will call them weirdos because I'm not afraid to call them what they are. If you think that Michael Myers is homophobic, is anti-LGBT in any way, shape, or form, specifically because he killed a certain demographic of the LGBT, then you are a weirdo. Michael Myers is without a doubt an equal opportunity killer. If you will, he is an inclusive killer. And if you think that Michael Myers shouldn't be allowed to kill any particular demographic of people, if it be in regards to race, religion, sexuality, or gender, then you're a bigot. There is nobody off the table, except, honestly, I've never seen Michael Myers kill a baby before. I mean, he was really close in Halloween 2018, where he basically killed, um that old lady in the house and then he walked through the house and there was a crib there and a baby crying and he just looked at the baby and walked off so other than babies pretty much everybody is up for grabs when it comes to mass homicide michael myers is the most inclusive homicide killer i've ever seen so we got yahoo news here and <laughs> that's a dead sight Halloween's bone-chilling villain Michael Myers is homophobic in new film. A gruesome murder of a gay couple in Halloween Kills has resulted in some horror fans calling the villain Michael Myers homophobic. Yeah, well guess what? Those people are bigots. Plain and simple, Yahoo News is using their platform to spread hate speech, to spread bigotry even. And I think that Yahoo News should be held accountable. Then we have Screen Geek over here promoting the same nonsense. <laughs> Michael Myers said to be homophobic in Halloween Kills. I don't know, Screen Geek, I think that you're promoting bigotry as well, not for nothing. You could tell that Screen Geek was so desperate for some clickbait because if you look on their Twitter, they have like no likes. Like every average article link that they post gets like between 10 and 30 likes. This is the only article posted in the most recent of time that got like a few thousand likes. Too bad that it had to be the most pathetic of clickbait articles possible. And who has said that Michael Myers is homophobic in Halloween Kills? It must be somebody reputable, right? I'm assuming? I mean, Screen Geek wouldn't use just any account possible that isn't even remotely reputable. I mean, they're not that stupid, right? Right. Bro, you're trying to tell me that they can't figure out that this is a troll account. Are you kidding me? Look at the at name! To expect any form of competency from any news site nowadays, if it be entertainment, 
politics, world news, even just local news, man. That's like putting a gun to your head, playing Russian roulette with all of the chambers fully loaded. And it's like, yo, y'all got me defending Michael Myers here. That's kind of like weird. I've never had to do some weird ass shit like this. I mean, I stand Michael Myers. I do like when he kills people and it's not any particular kind of people. I just like when he kills stupid people. That's my favorite. The real reason why Michael Myers kills these two gay individuals who are together is because they live in his house. Michael came home was like, yo, who chilling in my house right now? What is going on here? Oh, wait, it's these two? Man, they getting murked. I don't care who they are. They in my house. This my house. Y'all getting offed. But even so, with killing this couple, Michael Myers showed that he is indeed a supporter of the LGBT because he ended up posing them in a rather sensual pose together of pure love and joy. He didn't even throw them out of his house. He actually kept them there. So I think that does show at least some form of love. But I think that we see with the whole Dave Chappelle situation in which trans activists have basically come for his head. And now with this situation that some people who are activists for this community seem to think that, oh, well, that isn't allowed to happen specifically because this particular group of people is above everyone else. And that is not the case. Nobody's above everyone else. And if you disagree with that, well, you're a bigot. And when I originally reviewed Halloween Kills, I was like, wow, well, all these people are really dumb in this town. Like, they're really genuinely stupid. Like, this this doesn't feel right. But man, with this whole BS with Michael Myers basically being a bigot, people fa- the fact that people think that makes me rethink my original statement with Halloween Kills. Perhaps the movie was actually pretty accurate to how our society is, sadly. There are a hell of a lot of stupid people. This whining and complaining is just as stupid as the petition to remove the part in the movie where Michael Myers kills all the firefighters. And if you are one of these whiny losers, honestly, you should be ashamed of yourself. And if you give these whiny bigots a platform, well, you should be ashamed of yourself too. This is a non It's bad enough we had directors and writers and such that have tried to destroy the mystique of Michael Myers over the years, like Rob Zombie in particular, but now we have regular people who claim to be fans of Halloween seeking to destroy the mystique of Michael Myers. That's what makes him so great, and this I completely reject. But that's the video, guys. If you can, like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me over on Twitter if you want to continue the conversation. With all that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.